It's not. Ooh, wow. Uh, it's not about quantity. It's always about quality. <laughs> so, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Frank. I'm with Wiki Education Foundation. We're based in California, and I'm here with Susanna uh, from Armenia and Philip from Serbia. And we're going to talk about the future of Wiki in education. And uh, we're going to present um, the results. So, so our session has three parts. Um, the first part is we're going to talk about um, the research that has been undertaken in May and in June with the intention of do we need a hub? Uh, what does the future of Wikipedia and education look like? That is the first part. And then the second part is we're going to talk about what came out of the education conference uh, at your wiki in Belgrade that also happened in May, right? That was also May uh, in Serbia. It was a fantastic conference and we're going to talk about some of the results. And then this third part is really we want to engage you uh, in a conversation. So let's say there was some kind of support structure that would support educators and people who are running education programs around the world um, in the future. What would that structure do? How could that structure best support people in year one? What are the priorities? What do you need? Um, and so three parts. I'm going to take the first part. And um, to be honest, like, um, this is uh, this is not something that um, that that I did or someone at Wiki Education did. We had Jan Cornelius Kiberka from Germany doing this research. So I present someone else's result. Keep that in keep that in mind. Okay. And. Um, as I said, uh, it's a research project and it's a needs assessment for this community. And the idea is, do we even need a structure, right? Like, I think we have education programs in more than 80 countries around the world. And uh, some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, some of them are focused on reading Wikipedia, some of them are in high schools. Some of them are in higher education, and um, like that's a very diverse um, uh, landscape. And um, so, the project, as I mentioned, uh, it was a very short project, right? May and June, only two months, and it's based on thirty interviews uh, with education program leaders. Like some of them are here and two community discussions at the EduWiki conference in Belgrade that I already mentioned. And um, here are the results. I think these are six sections. And um, one of the things that I already mentioned is education or working with Wikipedia or Wikidata in education in different countries of the world might look very different. Um, and so what people are doing in Peru or in Argentina, uh, in Serbia and in the United States, those might be things that are, um, that are very different in nature. And um, we haven't been um, in the beginning when we're talking about education programs, we haven't been very clear on what that means. And there are, uh, in some areas, there, there's overlap with what people call GLAM, uh, with galleries, libraries, museums, and archives. And um, in order for a structure, I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer, right? Like, in order for a structure to support Wikipedia or Wiki and education, we would need to know what is the definition of that. What are what is within the scope of a, a potential support structure? What is not within the scope? Okay. The second part is um, there is a. I mean, this is kind of almost like a no-brainer, right? Like um, there is a dire need for more coordination, knowledge, and support. Um, and what does that look like? Um, 
um, as I said, they, the, the programmatic activities are very different in their nature and the, the, the support that people need really depends on what their local context is, right? For some people, a better tools might be what they need. For other people, there, there might be people in, in parts of the world that want to start an education program that uh, are really early in that development and who want to know and learn from others, right? That's a very different need. And then the existing support uh, structures, they're very limited in capacity and resources. What does that mean? Uh, there are currently, I would say, three, three players that provide resources. The Wikimedia Foundation had an education team. Um, it's mostly the user group, actually. The uh, education uh, user group that um, is, I think, even the, the biggest user group in the Wikimedia universe, and they're providing support. And then um, my organization, Wiki Education Foundation in California, is also providing support. And um, and currently, um, there is um, there are things that could be done better and more efficiently if there was a support structure that would be dedicated to providing help. Um, so um, coordination, sharing knowledge, direct support, capacity building. Just imagine, right, like the, the, the Edge of Wiki conference in, in Belgrade. It's a huge undertaking to organize a conference like that every year. We could be very, we were very happy that uh, Wikimedia Serbia was uh, taking that on uh, this year. And yet at the same time, it's very hard on volunteers to pull off a large conference like that. And so having more support would be really helpful. Tech maintenance and advocacy for tech. So these are two different things, right? The first one, the first one is really like, what are the tools that people who are running education programs around the world that they need? They, uh, some of you might be using the programs and events dashboard that Wiki Education Foundation is providing. I've heard at the conference in Belgrade, for example, that it's not always reliable. Um, there is like, uh, there, there are really dire documentation needs. The tool exists and I can do certain things, but people not always do they know how to do certain things. And so there is a documentation need. And, um, and then the data analysis for, for metrics is also uh, currently seems to be uh, insufficient. So this is, these are all results that come out of those interviews, right? Like that's what people have said. Um, and then uh, some people also said Commons has technical limitations. I don't know how many of you have ever tried to upload a video on Commons. Um, that's a that's a thing that I hope is going to change. I mean, I personally also hope it's going to change because I think visuals uh, in, in Wikipedia articles would benefit a great deal from that. And then there's a second aspect, right? Currently, the organization that is that is really doing most of the tech development in the Wikimedia universe is the Wikimedia Foundation. And so um, we're a very strong community. The education community within the Wikimedia universe is very, very strong. This is so many people are doing this, right? And so um, some people said, let's give that community a better voice when it comes to what are the things that the Wikimedia Foundation should prioritize, right? So that is something that, an, that a structure could do. Um, and, uh, and other things like a learning platform, having specific file formats on commons uh, to be able to be uploaded there that are currently not supported. Um, and then program size and context determine further specific needs. I've already mentioned that a little bit, like context is always very important, right? You have, um, I, I talked to someone at the conference from Morocco, sometimes it's just um, about things like access to computers. 
uh, whereas um, what is access to computers in, in Morocco might be something very different in, in the United States. There are very different needs depending on which your local context is that you're operating uh, in. And, um, and it also depends on whether you're running a small program or a large program and many, many, many different things. And um, innovation was one of the one of the topics that came up. How do we innovate? Are we doing like are we are we strategic in how we innovate? Um, how do we share our learnings from innovative new projects? And then and then programmatic loneliness. I think that's a very uh, very interesting term, right? There's some people in some countries who are just one person. Yeah, right? Some people here are nodding, right? Like, so, so you know what I'm talking about. And like, you don't have a large team of people behind you. You're, you're, you're the only one who, who might be running that program with the help of volunteers, perhaps. And so, um, like, how can we, how can we, how can we bring people together? There's already that mentorship program that the Wikipedia education user group is running. And um, how can we f make that go away that we feel like we're, we're lonely in our efforts? And then uh, emerging communities. Um, I've already mentioned that a little bit. There's, there's all kinds of needs, right? It starts with, with funding, with uh, knowledge sharing, the, um, just the promotion of Wikipedia itself, right? There, there might be some countries where it, like, it's not so well known, or people say, no, don't uh, go away. I don't want to have anything to do with Wikipedia, right? Like, um, so emerging communities is one of the uh, one of the very specific areas that a structure, be it a hub or something else, whatever we call it, could support. And then, and and I said it's six points. So I'm rushing through this a little bit because I want to have, like, I'm I'm really glad that we have a couple of people here in the room, and we want to have a conversation with you. This is not supposed to be. I think it was in the program. It was even called roundtable. So, um, so we don't want to take too much airspace here. We want to keep this really short. And so, uh, opportunities for for collaboration. Um, International collaboration as a source of motivation. I think that's very important, right? Like if you know that others, and Wikimania is kind of one of those places and one of those spaces where we can talk to each other and where we can, where we can see, hey, other people are also doing the same thing. They might have the same challenges, right? And so uh, there, there's a lot of, um, lot of things that we can do when we work together. And um, what else here? Advocating for more recognition of education programs within Wikimedia itself, right? Um, let's talk about what we're doing. Let's make people aware of what the benefits are and how that, how that is meaningful for, for the Wikimedia movement. And then, um, and that's my last point, and then I'm gonna hand it over. Um, to I think Susanna, right? Like you're going to talk about, or the two of you, you're, you're going to talk about the, the results from the uh, conference in Belgrade, emerging patterns for a future structure. So, um, and this is kind of, to be honest, like I think this confirms what some people already thought was true, that there is a need for a future structure and that if we had a structure, a hub, that could make things easier and better for people. Uh, it could provide that support. And so uh, when uh, in those interviews, and in those when these 30 people from many different parts of the world, when they got interviewed, they said, no, we want that structure to be created. Um, but, and that is really, really important, Diversity, equity, and inclusion have to be built in right from the start. We need to keep that in mind. That is something that we should never forget that this is something that is very important value to be built in. 
And then, and then of course, there's a, these are like, for those of you who are familiar with this topic of hubs, there are also regional structures. So how does that work if there's a thematic hub? This would be, if this would be created, it would be the first thematic hub, right? Like we don't have a thematic hub, hub so far. And we, we're in this together. We're learning kind of on the, while, we're, while we're building that plane, we're also flying it, right? And, and so the idea here is that we need to learn how the them thematic uh, uh, organization, like an education hub, how that organization works with the regional uh, organizations that are running the education programs. Very important part. And now we're going to talk about Belgrade. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm Philip from Wikimedia Serbia, but more importantly, maybe uh, Wikipedia Education User Group. I'm the <clears throat> former chair, now just a regular member of the board, um, of both boards. Um, but uh, I wanted to spend a, a minute maybe just to talk about the conference itself as from the point of view of, of the organizer. Um, it was a daunting task, and uh, some of you might know that. I, I, I see Galder, who's already organized a, um, a Jewiki conference before. So these efforts before have been sort of organized by individuals and or individual organizations without any, uh, without too much, uh, let's say, um, uh, systematic approach. Um, and Wikimedia Foundation had organized pre previously education uh, conferences, etc. So uh, with this event, we tried to start this string of events that will become sort of a systematic approach. And we do want, as, as a user group and some, probably even hub at some point, um, we want to organize these events and on a regular basis and offer a, a place for, for people um, within the education world and within the <laughs> Wikimedia ecosystem to, um, to, to discuss, to thrive, to um, talk about a lot of different things. Um, this is what it looked like. It was a daunting task to organize a conference for 100 people. Uh, of course, this conference is much, much bigger, um, but this was a, a, a very, uh, as I said, daunting task. And uh, but, but uh, I, we relied on Wikimedia Serbia, our staff, um, and it was really, really good to um, see so many people and to engage in many discussions. And um, uh, Susanna will will talk about that uh, qu quite soon, uh, because I was on the on the organizing side. I didn't get to. Un enjoy the conference as much as I would have liked. Um, so I won't talk about the program results, uh, the, the event uh, content results. Um, but what I want to say is that the research that uh, Frank has had, had gone through, that had um, uh, presented, is available on, on Meta, but also on our user group uh, YouTube uh, channel. So Wikipedia ampersand uh, education, user group. That's our channel on YouTube. And you can find not only the Cornelius's presentation from our open meeting, um, which lasts about an hour. So you can see this uh, the presentation in much more detail. Um, but also we have all the sessions that were recorded on that channel as well from the conference. So if you miss the conference, you don't necessarily have to miss the content. You can just go there and watch everything that was streamed. So in good quality as well. So, um, so yes, um, uh, that's it for me. Um, Susanna, take it away. Um, hello, uh, I am Susanna. Mm -hmm from Wikimedia Armenia and Wikipedia and Education User Group. Sorry for my <laughs> voice. I was a little bit sick. Um, <clears throat> we, um, uh, um, during the conference, we uh, um, explored that uh, um, five uh, uh, type of educational program is going around the world. Uh, mostly, um, um, it, um, uh, 
the program Wikipedia Educational Foundation would uh, build with dashboard, um, with dashboard, and um, the, this is uh, this program is using uh, several affiliates and more uh, in universities as well. <laughs> Reading Wikipedia in classroom in the classroom. This is uh, what uh, um, foundation educational team is doing uh, in Africa, um, mostly in Nigeria. Uh, um, also, you know that Wiki clubs and Wiki camps what started uh, Wikimedia Armenia, and uh, then uh, um, some affiliates copied both. Um, um, uh, both project, but um, I would like to say that um, uh, Wiki Club and Wiki Camp, it is ecosystem of educational ecosystem for, um, that we are running because um, uh, Wiki Clubs are doing all year. Um, uh, around all year, and then um, the best uh, um, students who um, earn more uh, marks, uh, they uh, go to, uh, they, they present it with ticket to Wikicamp. Uh, that's also Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia Armenia is doing training for teachers almost eight years. It is a very, very useful project because um, if we are, uh, you are educator, you will understand that how important it is for um, teachers, lecturers to be um, to permanent um, learning for them, per um, all time um, long life learning. And we um, uh, asked uh, people what they need for educational program, and uh, the result was finances, awareness, uh, lack of interest among professionals, lack of government support. Also, one of conclusions for, uh, was that uh, um, we need uh, international um, teachers camp uh, uh, conferences, edu educational. Even uh, everybody in uh, during um, conference, they are saying that what kind of uh, great conference is this? We need this every year. Uh, also, uh, it is, uh, many people said, but it is um, my opinion for sure, uh, we, uh, we need Wikipedia handbooks. Um, and uh, Wiki, um, Wiki, um, to, uh, for teachers to, um, to go to, with it, um, to uh, to teach uh, students uh, even during um, their lessons. Also, we need da database uh, to know uh, what is going, uh, linked database, I think, um, what is going uh, in, uh, in uh, every region, every um, school um, where uh, there are educational programs. Also, what we need to achieve with an educational program. Uh, my uh, uh, opinion about, about this is that uh, education need more Wikipedia than uh, Wikipedia need education. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what is going in education now uh, um, everywhere. 
um, and uh, doing um, during um, lessons, um, um, during uh, um, work, uh, educational pro um, wiki, edu uh, wiki editing, uh, students learn how to um, um, formulate their thoughts. Um, mostly, uh, even uh, university graduate students, they, sometimes they can't uh, f formulate their thoughts precisely. Uh, um, also, uh, 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 as I said, permanent self-education for, for teachers to be uh, um, in uh, um, in current. Uh, in touch in, with current situation in education and in news and in their field of research, etc. Also, creative learning for students. It's, um, uh, I think it will be better if uh, school curriculum will um, include um, Wikipedia um, editing, or at least be part of uh, su um, subject of informatics. Uh, um, um, you know, um, the, in every school now, uh, there is subject of informatics, but after um, 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 that, uh, students don't know what to do. And uh, Wikipedia is the best place to uh, be in touch with computer. It will help them um, uh, more know and also uh, <coughs> get more knowledge. <coughs> Eventually, what um, kind of support or resources um, uh, we need uh, which doesn't exist? As I said, database of education programs around the world, what is going in every <coughs> local place. Uh, Wikipedia textbooks, <coughs> research and monitoring the area. What I mean with, with this. Uh, they are going uh, a lot of educational program, but what is um, successful what is not also what we can be uh, copied uh, and uh, just uh, do a documentation uh, for it which one is best uh, for this uh, um, the, um, we need a centralized um, group of for research to do what is going on education and for what uh, to be done, what was worst, and also on <coughs> also to um, uh, to be um, to um, to go more um, deeper to schools, uh, universities. We need uh, publishing and advertising achievements. Uh, of uh, Wikipedia editing for students uh, in order to enhance awareness about the creative education through Wikipedia. Um, 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 we, um, not Wiki, but we have in Armenia um, paradigm project that is a teacher camp. It was so great that I was thinking, why we can do this? We can do this with Wiki. That's why I was thinking, because Wikimania is good, but if people with the same goal came together, it is another uh, um, story and uh, more successful. <clears throat> and also, uh, doing all this, we have, um, I am sure that we need 
to organize help. But we need, um, uh, during the working help, um, enhanced status uh, of uh, Wikipedia and educational help um, uh, to be more seen over the world and um, uh, that educa educator uh, and all uh, who is um, connected to education um, um, understand that it is the way uh, to enhance education in all countries. Also, it is important that uh, it um, maybe some countries are uh, have higher education, but with um, uh, education through Wikipedia, it t um, gives uh, opportunity to um, uh, low um, development car countries also d do the same. Um, um, it's very important. <clears throat> and uh, my uh, other um, thought is that we need a journal to uh, uh, to advertise all um, um, uh, work um, during a year, maybe uh, what uh, hub or local communities uh, will be uh, will done uh, will do uh, uh, on ed Wikipedia and education. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you, um, Susanna. Uh, so this was an overview of a lot of different things that were uh, discussed during the, the conference. Uh, but now we want to hear from you. Uh, how do you see the future of education, um, and especially uh, if a hub was to be formed, which projects should we prioritize in the first year? So this is an open floor. Frank, come here. <laughs> I'm trying to moderate, but um, if, there's an, if there are any initial thoughts, then we can progress from there. Hello. Okay, we have two mics. Oh, there's a third. <laughs> so who would like to start? If you had to prioritize uh, something that is your biggest need, what would that be? Bless you. I think working in a journal, it will be great because in uh, at least in Spain, I, I, I don't have much places where I can publish my uh, research about education and wiki and also we uh, uh, also we need to um, to publish uh, during our um, research career so it will be great for at least for for me <laughs> can we I mean, I'll, I'll make this short because a lot of people here have already talk, heard me talk a lot about wiki journals. Um, but one potential possibility is that uh, Wikimedia and education fits within the current scope of Wiki Journal of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences. So conceivably, that might be an avenue for a, um, a once a year special issue on the topic or uh, continuous publishing. Um, I'm open to kind of you know continuing discussions on on that side of things. Great. Plus one for journal. I think we need to advertise this. Uh, we need to advertise this that we, we, you can um, publish in Wiki uh, journal and then people. People will. <laughs> yes, we have a comment here. Thank you. Publishing in Wiki journal is a great 
possibility I didn't know it existed so I, I, I will explore this since since now but as a teacher um, I found that writing an article about education would about my experience uh, with Wikipedia was not easy because I'm not an I am not a specialist in education so perhaps sharing our experiences to build together publications about them to share uh, but if, with the help of uh, people that know what is important for educational sciences you know what I mean um, I, I had problems <laughs> I, I, I submitted one article once <clears throat> and it was rejected um, then I realized that I didn't know how how was the state of, of, of knowledge in educational sciences and then began to rethink things but maybe if we share experiences we can build uh, meaningful articles together I don't know yeah for sure collaboration has always proven to be a, a valid method of um, progressing Got it? so I'm not against the journal thing furthermore I, I agree but um, I really don't get the complete idea of the hubs not not of education hubs like hubs how what what, what they're going to replace or how it's going to work so for me uh, there are some there are a lot of aspects uh, not only in Susanna's presentation, also before we had other problems. One of them is uh, knowledge that Wikipedia or Wikimedia in general can be used for education purposes. And I think that one of the global things we, we should think if we are going to make a hub is how we promote ourselves. I mean, how do we talk about what we are doing? my experience and i think i know it's local and i know it's different and it's different in every place in the world but in my experience one of our great achievements has been that uh, people know what we are doing via social media via newsletters via etc so for me for example wikimedia foundation uh, has a great potential i mean wikipedia is very known worldwide somehow in places more than others. Wikimedia Foundation knows so much. But uh, for example, there was no one on communications on the Belgrade uh, conference. So how will people know what we are doing if we are not talking about what we are doing worldwide? I mean, we were there like 100 people and our only outreach was what we are, were doing personally in front of our personal social media accounts. So how we how we handle this, how we talk about what we are doing, not only us reporting that I know that there is a newsletter and we have to produce content. How do we, how does the world know that education and Wikipedia match together and they match together so well is something that have, should be promoting somehow. And I know that there is no global press, there is no, I mean, there are a lot of other issues, but how, how do we know, it's not how I know that in Armenia they have wiki clubs because I'm interested in this topic is how a teacher who doesn't know me know that a wiki club is actually a thing. Yeah. I, know, I don't know how a hub can help also on this, but I think that it can use resources to better know what we are doing together. Yeah, you're talking about visibility and the, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. the fact that we are not as visible as we should be. And that as a global movement, and especially a, a bunch of people interested in education, we should uh, promote ourselves more liberally and uh, reach more yeah. audiences. I just want to emphasize what Galder just said. Mm -hmm. uh, most times, uh, the, most times we talk about uh, Wikipedia and education. Uh, there's a conversation. That's a conversation between Wikipedians or Wikimedians, uh, and we should talk more with educators. And so creating awareness in within the educational community i think is key for this yeah i, I agree I, I think uh, there's evo um i think um different uh, affiliates deal with that in a different way so we don't we didn't or haven't had a global 
um, strategy towards uh, including more educators, but every affiliate has their own approach to um, dealing with their own locale, right? And that, that is a valid <laughs> way of, of approaching it. But uh, I think that the point is well taken that uh, we should include more, more educators in, in um, higher thinking. Yes. Um, you had a slide up that said that it had suggestions. It was a blue slide and it, it included training of teachers camps. Go back. Oh. That was the one. Yeah. Right. Um, so these, this list of all of these, and I thought all of them were fabulous, but the teachers camp for Wikipedia and Wikipedia teacher training got me particularly excited because I, the, I'm from Australia, but I have a research project in Bhutan to try and build the Zonka Wikipedia. And, in, and I've um, done workshops with the teachers, but it's what you were pointing out about, about this understanding of how Wikipedia and education just do match. There's so much potential and it needs sort of a bigger, more holistic view to present to them. And I can't do that. So the idea of some of, and they would, you know, the, the university there would sponsor people to go. So for a small, for Zonka to Wikipedia to work in Bhutan, it needs more um, content. <laughs> because it only has 100 stubs at the moment. It needs more content and this would be such a good way that their students can be doing so much and it would be, it would be brilliant. So if there was a teacher's camp that was attendable, that would be wonderful. Uh, but uh, recent years we are doing online teachers uh, training, 10 days. And who is um, more um, uh, editing, who, who is mo um, m more editing, have more contribution, uh, they uh, invited to Wikicamp. It, I think it helps a lot. Also, uh, there is a case that um, English teacher uh, was um, translating article from English to Armenian and uh, uh, um, her um, article was deleted f um, due to bad translation. Uh, and uh, in times we uh, explained her and uh, she became more <laughs> um, good translator and uh, um, she is happy in uh, continued translation because uh, her English enhanced. Okay, uh, just for the line for this um, sort of communication about uh, what we do and how to be more visible, then uh, some of the things I've done in Estonia in the sense is that they're really trying to, let's say, set up wiki pages or all sorts of articles. So just in, uh, if someone would, let's say, Google Wikipedia or education together, they would find out that, oh, there are so many universities and schools in Estonia doing all of this great work. And there are articles about people who have done it, interviews with those educators and their experience. And I think this is something where actually for hub, it's super difficult to help. It's something that has to be done locally. And I think this is something that really people in whatever countries need to think about, like uh, how can we reach out to those people? How can we promote those people? And at the same time for this cooperation building is like in Estonia, our, I would say, main partner over the years has been university, specifically University of Tartu, but they have significantly helped us to promote uh, Wikipedia. And I mean, this is something again that we cannot do, let's say internationally, but this is more of this local part. So in here, occasionally we might uh, mix up things that we maybe want to happen and are expecting this from, let's say abroad, but it is actually we should, we should, should be aiming for to fixing those gaps in this knowledge or this information sharing. Thank you. We had Ivana and Wala. I think Ivana was first and then Wala. 
I just want to um, add up to your comment. Um, so in Serbia, we also have accredited seminars, especially for teachers. It's a part of their professional development. So if um, some of the chapters, affiliates or user groups have the capacities to um, accredit seminars for them, it's really nice because they, they're actually, um, it's not just educating them, but also these recommendations that is there are important in that networking of teachers so you can proceed your work in education and also i want to add um on your comment galder um regarding the media i sometimes think i think that most of our work especially for example at ubiki conference in belgrade is kind of a internal and when we share our stories it's most of us learning from each other and uh, i think the hub might be helpful in that way that it can be umbrella on the uh, you know working these media things uh, on lo local global level so uh, for us for example we are doing the the um, um, increasing the visibility uh, of education program in media. For example, uh, we had recently Eduviki camp and uh, one of the media partners, uh, let's say, uh, she, she works in, ra uh, on, in a radio show. She was present all the way of the camp. So she did a lot of interviews with the participants, with the speakers. So it's kind of, um, I think we are working on this uh, locally, as Philip mentioned, but um, I, I do believe that Hub could increase the visibility of work of all of the affiliates in the education field. Yeah, yeah I completely agree. I didn't want to bias the discussion with that, but I completely agree that the Hub can actually amplify those voices. And uh, even though we all of us don't really know what the Hub is or what it should look like, we have a feeling of what are the things that it should be doing and I think education also mentoring or so um, many other things that were mentioned like facilitation with journals that's something that that the hub could absolutely do voila uh, I'd like to talk about something of uh, something related to challenges and support that we need as a uh, leader of education program for seven years and the four years for another initiative uh, uh, we, ha we had a great uh, education program in Egypt from 2012 to till 2019, and after that we stopped it be because uh, the lack of uh, fund that we, we got from the foundation, we stopped it to uh, talk, uh, take uh, fund f after 2017. So um, two years ago, I contacted, oh, I reached out to uh, Nicole Saad from the education program and Jacques Rabah from the partnerships. Uh, to make like uh, a deal or partnerships uh, with my university, Cairo University, because as I'm professor, uh, university professor, uh, I, I'd like uh, to relaunch again education program uh, in my uh, university. Uh, but when I talked to them to make like, because the university need like uh, official partnerships, not uh, uh, friendly, not uh, just the communication, they need like uh, certificates for the students who participate uh, uh, in translating articles from any language, or especially from Spanish to Arabic. Because you, you know that when we, uh, we participate in, uh, when we did our uh, education program, we, we did a lot of contributions to be a good and featured articles for the Arabic Wikipedia. Not only, we didn't only uh, edit any article to be a normal article. So, I uh, I need to relaunch it again, but I I need uh, your help uh, the, from the I need the help of the foundation and the education team to relaunch it again, but officially. But also they told me about that there, there is something related to our law in Egypt, and we have to review the things, and everything stopped again. So I'm asking, how can we resolve it? Because I. I'll have, I, I'll have my students after I return home. I will have a great number of students, uh, so I can teach them. I can uh, teach them how to edit Wikipedia and review their articles. So we need to relaunch this again. But I need the help of, uh, of you. Okay, so I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't promise answers. <laughs> yeah. This is something that we can talk one on one or, or in a more a close setting. But um, my thoughts uh, at first are that uh, the, the hub can be uh, um, 
can be could be a help in terms of uh, funds. So currently, it is not known whether uh, hubs will have the capacity to fundraise and or, and or distribute money. Um, so we don't have that answer, but potentially they could. Um, but when it comes to official partnerships, that's something that's really important, and uh, I think everyone here can recognize that. Yeah. In that time, and we di we did it at first. At first. And after after him came Thai. Mm -hmm. Also, I I think till 2016, oh, and 2017, and after that everything stopped. Yeah. Um, and I, I worked two years to, from 2017 till 2019, mm -hmm. lonely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 leading uh, 13 universities in Egypt. And was that partnership between Wikimedia Foundation and, and Cairo, Cairo, Cairo University? University, for example? Yeah, because yeah, they only they told me on, in my university they told me that the st student require require any student requires like an official certificate mm -hmm. that he participated in this uh, semester in the education in the education uh, program and he edited uh, some articles uh, on Wikipedia. This is the issue that I need. I don't. I, now I'm not talking about fund. Uh, I think it is because a, I know that's a, something related to our restrictions with the government. Uh, so okay. Is there organization in Egypt? Yeah, yeah, we have user group. Uh, but you, user group ca uh, can give certificate. No, but, but uh, um, uh, I look. I look at user group. No, will not. Uh, uh, be a good thing. Then uh, I, I, ha I have many uh, initiative called the uh, Wikipedia Light of Knowledge. I can uh, I can uh, give them a certificate, uh, uh, but b because now we are we have a credit program, so they need official partnership, not friendly, not something friendly or not uh, uh, a local uh, certificate. Maybe uh, we just say uh, foundation will the, um, give certificate. No, they refused. <laughs> no, <laughs> they refused. Uh, because we, Wikimedia Armenia, we gave uh, certi give a certi give certificate to uh, our students. It is enough for them. No, I think I feel her pain just because of you know like having a certificate from Something Wikimedia that's Foundation. Quite official, yeah. Of course, it is much more quite official than local yeah. like brand. Branded something with the user group supports that this is the credit. Yeah, I mean, uh, I want to give some more uh, space for for other people. So um, I it was I me first time there's speaking. A problem. Yeah, <laughs> acknowledge there's a problem and we can't solve it right now. Uh, we don't have Wikimedia Foundation presence here. Uh, but I, what I think we could do is uh, make the hub a place that I can that can amplify these voices that so that Wikimedia Foundation can act uh, under pressure. So um, if that's what what's needed, so. Um, that's so, also one of the things that a hub can do. Okay, I have another point. Have yep. we taken any practical measures toward the hub? Yes. And what are those steps? <laughs> well, we have been in discussion with the board of trustees and um, the MCDC and um, this research that we've shown is also a, a huge leap towards that. So um, this is not something that will happen overnight. It's something that is an ongoing um, uh, discussion for for months now. Uh, Frank has started his his own little research uh, back last year, I think. Uh, so it's been mo more than a year probably that we've been actively thinking about this. So, um, but it's not something that can happen overnight. So we're we're uh, making uh, short strides, and then uh, hopefully something will happen. Eva, how much is actually hub? Uh, also, like thought about this. Like how specific is the focus? For instance, like there are other ways of education. There are like the same museum education in collaboration with all sorts of CLAM institutions, or there are other like areas. Let's say like uh, I'm a self-organizing wiki science competition again coming back in November. So any, whoever wants to join, this is the possibility. But uh, what are your thoughts in this area of uh, this party related? Uh, Things like, let's say, museum education or collaboration, of, let's say, like Wiki Science competition. Right. Um, I was wondering when you were going to mention Wiki Love Science. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so maybe you missed it because it was one of the first slides, but um, education needs a clear definition. That was one of the first and, and foremost outcomes of the, um, of the research that Cornelius has, uh, um, you know, concluded in the um, in the past few months um, and because not everyone has the same definition of what education is um, we do need a shared understanding and we do need sort of limits uh, maybe not hard limits but some sort of limits so that we know what comes under purview of this because we know that glam is also thinking about doing things like that and we do not want to overstep you know um, so uh, I don't have an answer right now but it's it's we're thinking about it and and i think um you know it it will probably depend on where, where you draw the line but we'll see Galder? okay so we have two minutes okay. left so imagine that you're a teacher in uh, panama where there is no user group there is no chapter but uh, you have read in, I don't know, in Google Trends that appears like a great experience of someone who has been working in education Wikipedia and say, okay, I want to do this. But you don't know Nicole Sad, that was the point of um, Walla. Uh, you don't know how Wikipedia is organized. You don't know nothing. Which is your landing page? Which is your landing process to know what to do? I think that the hubs work might be might be defining this path Absolutely. not depending on if you know florencia you can work on something in university of i don't know university of sevilla can contact florencia to work on that it's not that it's yeah. how do you proceed if you don't know anything yes exactly i mean uh, we've had this conversation like maybe exact same conversation many times before um outreach was supposed to be one of those places where you could uh, get informed about education but uh, that never worked out uh, the way we wanted to or some people wanted to um but yes uh one of the discussions that we've had especially me with <laughs> frank was um how to make the central place how to uh, make whether the hub would be that place to to be the central capacity exchange platform and i mentioned capacity exchange because that's also something that's been developing in, in recent months so um keep an eye on that but i i, I think that yeah you, you hit the nail on the head uh, thomas can we just yeah just maybe something very quick um yeah we often focus on the small scale high effort activities particularly uh, teaching students to edit Wikipedia, teaching students to translate, thats that can only be done on quite a small scale if, if it's done well. And there's not much support for the very large scale, low effort outreach and lobbying. For example, you, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, universities said, don't look at Wikipedia, don't use Wikipedia. Now, some universities say, oh, Wikipedia, it's sort of trustworthy, and that's, that's it. There's no education broadly on how to safely use Wikipedia. Where are the gaps? What are the problems? How to understand it? Um, and yet, that sort of information exists in our community. Being able to put together a package of information that you can send to every university in your country, every university library in your country, mm -hmm. It's a uh, very large scale, relatively low effort, and potentially lays a groundwork for the future intense small scale activities. Right. I agree. Thank you. Uh, I think this is all the time we have left. If you have okay, maybe as, uh, as I added comment, uh, just uh, the Thomas uh, remarks is uh, that just like in Estonia, actually our biggest promotion campaign for Wikipedia was organized by the University of Tartu. So again, it's like something for us, super low effort, uh, because it's someone else did it. Yeah. So this is again, uh, something that I see where HAB could uh, come into really effect, like how to make sure that you actually are not really targeting those few schools, students or university students doing something, but actually targeting universities themselves. I think that this should be the main focus of this thing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, we're at time. Uh, I th hope this was a productive discussion. Uh, at least it was for me. I, I think we got a, a lot of good feedback and um, good potential ways the hub can, can help out uh, everyone here and not here. <laughs> so um, here's hoping that we succeed in the next several 
units of time. Um, <laughs> thank you.